Welcome to Juneau, Alaska. The first stop on my seven night Alaskan cruise from Seward, Alaska to Vancouver, Canada. Royal Caribbean's Radiance of the Seas docked at the AJ Dock, which is a little bit over a mile from downtown Juneau. There are free shuttles to get there, or you could walk. On my last stop here, I rode in a shuttle with a driver who gave a narrated tour. No narrated tour this time. When I first looked at booking this cruise, I had no idea how to even get to Seward, Alaska. Well, I flew into Anchorage, and then after spending a couple nights there, I took the most amazing train ride on the Alaska Railroad's Coastal Classic, and then spent the night in Seward. I took videos that I'll post in the comments section below. I hope you like them. The shuttle bus will drop you off at a huge parking lot in downtown Juneau, which is right next to the Gold Belt Tram Station. Be sure to come back to this spot so you can catch the shuttle back to the ship before your onboard time. Well, I started my day in Juneau just walking around the harbor and downtown. It was a very cloudy day, but I enjoyed seeing the ships and the art all around the harbor area. The ship across the harbor is the Seabourn Odyssey, and the one along the dock here is the Silver Seas Nova. The one further down is a Regency ship, and I didn't catch the name. It looks like the bigger ships are the ones that seem to dock right downtown. When I was there in 2022 on the Norwegian Bliss, we docked at the AJ Dock. And last year I was on Quantum of the Seas and we docked downtown as well. You'll see the Ovation docking in here soon. Because this was such a cloudy day, I didn't take the Gold Belt Tram up to Mount Roberts this time. But I included parts of my video from 2023 because I think it's a great excursion that you can book on land and avoid the surcharge that you get on the cruise ship. If anybody has any questions about Juno or the surrounding area, definitely feel free to ask as we ascend and I'll do my best to provide an answer. Otherwise, you guys are free to wiggle about the sardine can. Find the views on the tram on the way up to Mount Roberts and on the way down are absolutely gorgeous. And I think worth the price that I think is now about $55 for adults. Once they reach the top of the tram, there's a restaurant that has a huge deck out back. And there's absolutely amazing views from here. There's also a few well-marked trails along the mountain that feature several totem poles and some amazing viewing points, including Father Brown's Cross. He's the priest that actually created the trails. And just this past winter in 2024, heavy snow knocked the cross down. It should be back up by now. You can see the views are amazing. And the narrated tour on the way down is good too. There were two distinct communities of Clinket people that occupied this sector of Southeast Alaska. In the village site called Flounder at the base of the creek and the Taco people are from the other side called where the sun rays touch first and spirit helper. So the Ak tribe and the Taco tribe have lived harmoniously and shared villages in this area for centuries. And here comes Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. A sister ship of the Quantum of the Seas that also docked downtown on my 2023 cruise. Look at the clouds on Mount Juno. Such a beautiful city. I'm going to pop into the Red Dog Saloon before it gets really busy. Now this is new. I didn't see this last year. Deccan Dave's and the Crepe Escape. Looks like a really nice pavilion area where you can get some food from food trucks and sit down and enjoy a nice afternoon in Juneau. After another one of my many cultural breaks in Juneau, I decided to take a walk around the city and came across the State Capitol Building and the Alaskan, the Juneau Alaska version of the Liberty Bell. There's no crack in this one though. And I came across this uh, really nice looking park called Capitol Park. They had everything, basketball and playground area for the kids and a beautiful view of Mount Juneau. And of course, being a mountainside town, lots of staircases in town and lots of totem poles 
and lots of great viewpoints to see the ships. Check it out. You're not going to have any problem getting in your step quota walking around Juno, especially climbing them stairs. And the payoff is really nice too. You don't have to worry about getting lost if you take a hike around Juno. There's signs everywhere. There's Cope Park. Looked like a beautiful park along the Gold River. And I didn't go down there, but I looked it up on the website and it has tennis courts, pickleball, bocce ball. And I definitely want to go check it out the next time I'm there. And although I enjoy making these videos for people to check out places that they plan on going to, I love when I do a research on a video and I find something cool that I didn't check out. They just go on the list of my things to see on my next trip, which I'll happily share with you. Now it probably looks like I'm walking around aimlessly in Juneau, which I kind of am, but I did have a destination in mind. I wanted to see the governor's mansion again. I saw it a couple of years ago and I just wanted to see if I could find my way back there. It's a beautiful home and I'm not really sure I'd consider it a mansion, but compared to the other houses that I've seen so far in Juneau, it certainly is. And of course the governor lives there, so it has to be a mansion. I found it interesting that the governor's mansion was built in 1912 and Alaska didn't become a state until 1959. You've got to check out the governor's totem pole. A great story behind that, apparently a raven stole the sun, the moon, and the stars from an ancient chief and also invented mosquitoes. There's the awesome welcome to Alaska sign at the mansion. Anyway. Like all totem poles, they all come with a story. Usually there's a plaque next to them explaining it. I found it very interesting. And listen to this bird, or something. I don't know what was in that tree, but I was trying to find it. If anybody knows, please put it in the comments below. Well, I never did see the bird, so I decided to walk down the street and walk back to downtown Juneau. Look at that view of the ship. There seem to be views of the harbor everywhere. I love Juneau. I even love all the staircases. They sure keep them in good shape, despite the harsh winters. I don't know how they do it. Well, after all that hiking and up those staircases and all those hills, there's the state house again, and there's the Juneau Museum. I could have just taken a left there and gone up the hill and I'd have been at the governor's mansion but oh well I saw a lot of cool stuff including this park that had a statue of William Seward the Secretary of State in the 1860s that purchased Alaska for two cents an acre apparently he paid 7.2 million dollars for the entire territory of Alaska and he bought it from the Russians and at the time he was criticized for making such a purchase for what they thought was a invaluable piece of property, and they called it Seward's Follies. Boy, were they wrong. He sure looks like a genius now. Once I got back to downtown Juneau, I see even more museums. It really is a beautiful city. Look at this area here. They had all kinds of uh, art sculptures. Look like masks, probably from some of the indigenous tribes in Alaska. They love their history, so they should. What a beautiful state. Now let's continue downtown, back to the harbor, and meander our way back to the ship. Might stop off for a pint. I love watching the seaplanes. I still haven't taken this excursion yet, but I'm going to do it one day. I just got to plan the cruise early enough. Harbor has a lot of art. Love the totem poles and those wire mesh structures, those are the acrolines. They were built in 2017. And if you didn't get your excursion on the ship, 
you have these booths where you can uh, get different excursions from. Probably a lot cheaper. They still didn't have any seaplane seats available though. And these aquiline sculptures are called Eagle and the Whale. And they light up at night. I bet it's gorgeous. There is art everywhere in Juneau. And it's beautiful. What a beautiful city. I don't think I've said it enough. Can't wait to go back. Especially when it's a nice sunny day so I can get back on the gold belt tram again and hike some more of those trails. I just love it up there. I'm also going to look into getting out to the Mendenhall Glacier. I know the cruise sells the excursions, but it looks like from here you can take local transportation. Worth checking out. And there's a close-up look of the panda on Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. It's quite a bit bigger than the radiance of the seas, but I like the radiance. Time to stop in to the Alaska Brewing Company for some beer and a big juicy burger. It wasn't all that crowded because everybody was getting back to the ship at this time, so I'm glad I waited. Delicious. Well, when you get back to the shuttle stop, expect a long line. And don't get on the wrong bus. Oh, no! The buses come very frequently, though. And it'll get you back there in, I think it's five minutes. Or like I mentioned earlier, it's only a little over a mile, so it'll probably take you 20, 25 minutes to walk it if you wanted. I didn't see this cool entrance to AJ Dock on the way out, but I had to get it on video. It looked awesome. Well, my third time in Juneau, and I loved it. I really enjoyed the walk around the city. It was just about two miles and should take about 45 minutes, but of course I stopped a lot. And for me, it took a, it was a good hour and a half to two hour excursion on my own. I loved it. I highly recommend it. Hey, there's a guy fishing. That might be something to do on my next trip. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if so, please hit the like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>